Hello again, welcome back to What Once Was, aka Atomic Candy Productions. And today we're talking a little bit about vintage cap guns and selling them on eBay. Now eBay has a policy by which a cap gun cannot be shown without an orange tip. And that includes antique and vintage ones. And as you know, when they used to make antique and vintage cap guns, they used to make them look realistic. That looks relatively like a real gun. It's made out of pressed steel, um, chrome plated. This is actually a really nice example of the uh, Ubley Cowboy revolver, spring loaded uh, pop out for the cap function. But you can see these are simulated bullet tips. But this is a really fine example of a gun in fully working condition. And so what eBay would have you do is affix a tip to this that will devalue the gun. If you permanently affix something to this, when the collector gets it, they're going to want to take it off. And if they take it off and it's been permanently attached, they're going to damage the finish. Nobody wants to deal with that because eBay's policy wants you to put an orange tip on it permanently because people might be intimidated by the appearance of the gun. Welcome to politically correct world. Um, and also I have another one here that's really nice. It's a Nichols Stallion 38 revolver. This one is made kind of like the old uh, Colt 45 where you load here, and I'm going to drop one of these out. See, little simulated bullet. You see there's a hole through there now? And the way this used to work, I know I digress a little bit, was the cap went in here, and then this went on top of the cap, and there's a hole all the way through it. And you load it like you would load a real gun. And when you pull the trigger, this one works perfectly as well. The cap would snap and smoke come out of the tip. Those were great. But rather than destroy this to satisfy uh, a bunch of politically correct wimps on eBay, see this is the cap off a marker. Oh look, now it qualifies for the photos. That way you do not ruin the gun for the collector. eBay also won't let you sell these outside of the uh, continental US. <laughs> you can't ship these anywhere. They, they put a lot of really BS restrictions. But again, that is the Nichols Stallion 38 revolver. Perfect working condition. Worth about $75 like this. Since also it has the, uh, here, look down the barrel. Since it has the uh, little simulated bullets in it as well, that helps. And of course, the Ubley cowboy with the bullhorn and red star grips these are really nice this is also about 75 80 dollars like that you can double your value on those if you have the boxes and sometimes they came with a holster this is not the holster that goes with these but i'm going to show it to you anyway do you remember these um and all of these are circa 1950 slash early 60s. Um, this one is definitely circa 1950. This one might be circa early 60s. And this is the Wyatt Earp <laughs> holster. And this one is in real nice shape. Still has the buckles on it. Still has the buckles. My face in the right way. I'm trying guys. And of course the little bandolier nine bullet bandolier for those little fake bullets that i just showed you would fit in here actually those wouldn't go in here because those are the two part bullets but there were fake bullets that came with this that i no longer have and the holster in this kind of condition missing the uh bullets for the bandolier is probably worth about 50 to 60 dollars so once again when you get any condition vintage cap guns like these, please do not destroy them because uh, 
because eBay is paranoid about the one out of every hundred thousand people that might be offended because, oh god, I saw a gun in one of your auction pictures. Just do something simple. Just stick a marker in there or the caps from, you know, those screw caps that you use for electrical work will fit down these barrels also as long as it's orange or red orange or red but do not ruin these beautiful antiques and these these two do qualify as antiques beyond vintage here don't ruin them because someone on ebay is paranoid anyway i hope that that's been informative uh please stay tuned for more we always appreciate when you drop in